hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is rosanna so in today's video we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial on hooded eye application so that's what we're going to be doing today but before we get into that video i would love 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 for you to subscribe to my channel you could ring the bell it would give you notifications of when i post which is every tuesday and every saturday so yep like make comments tell your friends subscribe help a newbie out i would so so appreciate your support and thank you so so much for helping me grow this channel and now without further ado let's get started okay like i am like so excited i have i have had this idea on my roster of videos to do for at least two years no lie we're getting down to it right now i do have full makeup on i will leave what i have on my face down below i'm just cleaning my mirror but anyway i've always been thinking about this video because i am 56 years old although your age doesn't matter i do have hooded eyes you know i'm not a primer kind of girl an eye primer or a face primer but i did put the anastasia the eye primer on just for this video because we're going to get down and dirty on application um, placement brushes etc etc so anyway so of course i've always been struggling with my eye makeup application because i do have hooded eyes now that i'm older i have texture on my eyelids and um you know sometimes it's a struggle so i want to share with you how i apply um my eye makeup on mature hooded textured eyes so that is what we're going to be doing today i just grabbed i just grabbed the natasha denona i need a nude palette you do what you want grab whatever the heck you want you're a cool girl a warm girl a neutral girl whatever the heck you want you like like a lot of color you like neutrals whatever you want i like this palette because it's neutral and it just gives me a really good variety of um, versatility when I apply my eyeshadows you know I always go light to dark blah 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 so this palette gives me enough versatility to show you that because that's what we're gonna be doing today we're showing application let's get down to like brushes like I was never like stop lying girl a brush is a brush is a brush you ever tools are tools don't don't fall into that crap that's not true that is not true i just grabbed a handful of different eyeshadow brushes that i have but you guys use whatever you want you don't have to have expensive tools but specific tools i think is necessary let me just show you what i'm talking about okay so these are like a handful of tools that i like to use um random i just so happen to have like higher end brushes that i use on a daily basis but you don't have to you don't have to i'm talking about like the shape the size that's re what really i'm talking about so let me just get into this i have tons of bk beauty i love bk beauty brushes especially the angie hot and flashy line of course because angie geared it to mature hooded smaller eyes i think it's such a great line but i just want to show you what i have so normally when i'm going like an all over um application i like to use the bk beauty 201 but also the angie hot and flashy a503 i like to use as well let me just show you let me put these down let me just show you like the difference i mean you could tell um that the bk beauty over here it's got like a wider surface and it's fluffier whereas the angie hot and flashy it'll still give you like fluff if you will but the tip is more like dome shape either one of these would be great like to shear out like your first application for me for me now when we get down and dirty into the creases of anybody who has hooded eyes you know that you have to create your own crease so what i like to use is the angie hot and flashy this is the a502 i just want to show you the difference I know that they're like obviously like bigger and like bigger in size of course but it's like this narrowing right over here and then like a little bit of fluff at the top that makes such a big difference I, I will show you I just wanted to show you like application wise so I like to use the 502 um, yeah PS there's two 502 so I'm gonna put this back so I like to use like the 502 I also like to use this is the bristles beauty this is the e03 DM same kind of concept they're they're small enough to get into like like your natural crease but they're fluffy enough that it's not going to be like you're not going to use these for like precision you're going to use them for placement and also to shear it out this is what the tip does it's a little bit fluffy on the tip i'm just trying to see if i have one that i can show you mm, i have to go get one where if it was just here i'm going to just use this for an example like the 
the um, the 210, the BKBD 210. This is just application through and through. You're not going to get any kind of fluff because this is pretty dense. I like to smoke out my eyeshadows with this brush, but that's what I'm saying. You see how like this one, not that they're the same, but you see how like they're dense on the bottom, but this one kind of fluffs out. So you'll be able to blend better with this, where if it was like this kind of a brush where it's dense all the way up, even though this is a little bit fluffy at the edge, but you, you get the gist. But anyway, so I like to use something like this. I also like to use the Angie, um, a504 so I like to use that I also love to use the refers I love the refer brushes these are natural hair brushes they'll pick up more product and they'll give you like a like a bigger punch if you will but this is the refer uh, 13 but you could see that roughly they're basically like the same kind of shape and for me personally they do the same thing it all depends like what I grab what I'm in the mood for and what brushes are clean you know what I'm trying to say are you okay my man anyway so that is that here's another um bristles beauty this is the ao2 rl same concept it's a little bit like pinched right over here but i like the fluffiness on the tip of the brush where i could really blend and shear out um a product same thing with this same thing with the e uh one dl this was really kind of mimics like these brushes right over here and then, you know, for packing, girl, I like to use my fingertips. I got short nails, girl. I don't have any pointy nails that I can't get in there. But I like to um, apply, like, my shimmer or, like, a mat on my moving lid with my fingertips. But I will use one of these flatter brushes. This is the 203, the BK Beauty 203. You see it's flat this way, but it's also, like, flat this way. It's pinched so something like this i also have the refer 28 does the same exact thing this is the 02 the refer 02 it's just a little bit fluffier up on top but you see how they're all like flat so that's what i like to use for that and one of my absolute favorite brushes in the whole wide world is the bk beauty 208 look at this little lover i'm going to show you again girl you know i can't do wings but i've been working so hard sometimes they come out great right i think so but like i said for me personally i have a really really hard time with wings and i'm going to be showing you of course all the demonstrations but i cannot do like a wing i'm going to show you girl because we're going to do like one eye for hooded eyes and then it's just like a regular application for the other side and if i go above no matter how much i this this it always looks straight anyway so i go from underneath but we I'll, I'll show you all that so anyway let's see here i think i'm gonna do maybe like we're gonna do this side this is my right we're gonna do that like i normally have no you know what i changed my mind because this side over here this eye and we're gonna come closer this eye right over here is a little bit more hooded like right there I don't, i'm gonna bring you closer I'm going to bring you closer throughout the application, but like this eye, like right here is a tiny bit more hooded than this one over here. Mm -hmm. Like this is always my good brow. This is my good eye, whatever. But so I think I'm going to challenge myself, girl. I'm going to challenge you. We're going to use this eye over here because like I said, it has more of a hood, like right over here. So I'm going to show you like how I apply on hooded eyes on this side. So my left. So my left, and then we'll just use like regular application, like a regular eyelid on this side. Please do not let me forget because I'm going to screw it up. I know I am. But anyway, let me zoom you on in and we'll get started. Okie dokes. I'm all up in your business. Okay, cool. So let's get started. Again, you do whatever you want. Some people I, um, that I have watched do like the darker shade first, and then they kind of like keep on blending lighter and lighter. I like that concept. I'm, I've just, I just haven't done it enough to be comfortable with it. So I'm gonna just do my huge girl. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna just mix and match all these brushes. I'm gonna take the BK Beauty 201 right over here, and I'm gonna take my lightest shade. And in this particular um, palette, it would be the fair right over here. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pack like the tip of the brush, and I always tap a little bit. Wait a minute. I see I already forgot. So this I'm gonna just do normal because I usually just go all over the lid. And I normally go from my eyelashes to my eyebrows. It's almost like it's almost like I'm 
using my eyeshadow as a primer, if you will. So nothing earth shattering. Of course, I could see it here. I don't know if you could see it over there, but I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. So I'm going to do the same on this eye. Okay, so nothing earth shattering. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush. I think I'm going to do, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to, I'm still going to use the same brushes on each eye. It's like the placement. That's where it is. So I'm going to take a darker shade. I'm going to show you every two seconds, but I think I'm going to go with stone. And we're going to use this side over here. This is, this is, this is the application of a hooded eye. And then I'm going to do it with like a regular crease on this eye. So I'm going to take the darker shade and I am going to place it like in my natural crease. I'm going to take it all the way. I know. Keep this down, girl, especially for application. Okay. So I'm going to go like this. When I open my eyes and we have like full blown conversations, you can hardly like I'm looking down now, but when I'm looking at you, you can hardly see it. So I'm going to go back in. And what I do is that I open my eyes like a normal. I don't look down. I don't look like around. I just open my eye. This is just for placement. It's going to look crazy, but per usual girl, trust the process. So especially like right over here on the edge. I want to go up and I'm going to create my own crease where I can see that. Girl, I could see you. And then from there, we start building. So now I close my eye and I'm going to tap it, tap, tap. As a matter of fact, you can even switch up your brushes to use like one of these flatter ones. Let's just, just for placement. And I'm going to just tap. And then I'm going to take wherever like I created my crease. This is where I'm going to take this over. You see that? Not so much, but enough where you could see it, but not as deep as like this outer corner. Leave me some comments below. Do you guys have hooded eyes, textured eyes? And how do you apply your shadow? And while we're talking about leaving comments below, leave me some ideas of any kind of videos that you're interested in. And I will do my best to research them and get them out to you. All right, so that's it for now with this brush. I'm gonna go back in to the other eye, the same brush, same product. And I wanna just go in my natural crease. You see that? My natural crease, that's exactly where I'm gonna place it. Okay, my natural crease back and forth and I'm gonna build it up at the edge just like I did on the other side change my brush I'm gonna go for that flatter brush that we did before and build it up exactly what I did on the other side with this I tilt my head back and I'm gonna put it right in my crease right in my natural crease okay so so far this is what we have okay now I'm going to take this flatter brush again. Let's take a different one then because I want to use all these brushes. Okay, I'm going to take the refer. This is the 28. And then I'm going to take a deeper shade. I'm going to take Tender and Silhouette. I'm going to mix them together. And I'm going to continue to build this outer part of my eye. Again, I'm patting. I'm opening my eye. And then I'm going to go a little bit higher because you can't see it. This is just for placement. I'm going to take it out a little bit. And then whatever I have left over, I'm going to go into my natural crease. Okay. I'm going to go back with my fluffy brush. We used this one before. I'm going to go back in with the Angie 503. going to just tap a little bit of the lighter shade and I'm going to start blending up here. You're going to go like legit right up to the brow. When you have hooded eyes, you have to work with what you have and you're going to legit go all the way up to the brow. Okay, so I'm going to blend that out. And then I'm going to go back in with this brush again. I'm going to just take Silhouette 
because I want this to be a little bit deeper. You know, it's going to be like a give and take. You know that. Okay. I think I like that. That's nice. going to go back into the other side. I'm going to take the same brush I did before. I'm going to go into fair. I'm going to go up here. Okay. I'm going to go back in, take this the tender and silhouette just to deepen up the edge right over here. Just like I did before. You may like this PS, by the way. I'm going to go back in and start blending. You may like like this more of a subtle look. I, I don't know. I just don't. I'm not going to work this hard and for you not to be able to see my eye makeup or myself. I'm not going to be able to see it either. Okay, so that is that. We did the same exact thing. Okay. So far, so good. I'm going in with my finger for now, and I think I'm going to take, um, I'm going to go with Delilah. Okay, I'm going to go with Delilah, yeah, 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 on the middle finger. And I'm going to just place it on my moving lid, and that's all we're going to do for that. Be careful, because um, I don't want to touch it, and I have a high right there. Go figure. I'm going to use my other hand, because I like to do that, because if I, I feel like if I use my right hand and do this, I make a mess. So I'm going to just take my left hand. And here's the thing. It's like this eye over here. I even have like that extra fold. So sometimes if you have to, you know, you have to pull up your lid. If you do what you got to do, man, you pull up the lid so you could really get in there. It is what it is. Okay. So let me just check. Mm-hmm. Now here's the thing, and this is complete. I'm going to just take this brush because there's a little bit of fallout right here. Here's the thing, because everybody's different. You know that and everybody's eyes are different. For me personally, this part of my eye, like right here, like right here, I have a little bit of extra texture that I don't like. So I try very hard not to put any kind of shimmer like right in here. But we're going to do it on this side just so I can show you. And I'm going to, you can even spray your brushes, by the way. I'm going to take, um, let me wipe this one off. I'm going to take the refer uh, number two. And let's use, I'm going to use, a, let's use Whisper because this is more of like a satin and not really a shimmer. And let me just show you. For me, if it doesn't bother you, then do it. So I'm taking this sheen. It's called Whisper. Okay. Do you see like how over here, like all the texture to me in my eyeballs looks more emphasized than this over here? Do you see that? Let me, let me look down and then I'm going to look up. It looks very textured for me. Yeah, girl. Mm -mm. So I try really hard not to put any shimmer like right here. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It is what it is. I'm going to take this flatter brush and I'm going to go in to Delilah one more time on the brush because I want to pack it a little bit more. Of course, if you wet your brush, it's even better. And me personally, your fingers are the best. But some people don't like to use their hands. You do what you want to do. Okay, that is super de duper. Let me go back in. Don't want to say like, oh, you didn't do it on that side, but you did it on that and blah, blah, blah. Okay, and I'm going to take it up where I don't like it. But there you have it. Okay, so now... What I like to do is I like to take like a smaller brush, like this Angie Hot and Flashy. This is the 504. And I'm going to go in with like stone because I don't want to like cut it short. Like you put the shimmer and then there's a line and then there's a color. So I like to go in with like a medium color. I'm going to tap just to blend these two in. Doing the same thing on this side, same brush. And I'm going to tap it right here. 
And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go in with Silhouette because I want to continue to have this little bit of a contrast right over here. And I'm going to take this out. Same thing over here, but I'm going to stay in my crease. Close my eye. I'm going to take it out. Okay. I always go back in, clean brush, or with a lighter color, and I always like to blend. Just to make sure. So far, that's what we're doing. Okay. I'm going to take, let's see, am I happy? I think I am. I think I want to darken this up just a little bit. So again, I'm going to take um, a smaller brush. This is the Angie 502. And I'm going to mix the same exact colors that we did before, tender and silhouette. I'm going to look, the, I'm going to take my mirror further away and I'm going to hold the brush further away because I don't want like a harshness. The closer you put your fingertips to the tip of the brush, the more product you're going to get. I want something softer. So I'm going to hold the brush further away and I just, I'm going to wisp because I don't want the harshness of these two shades, but I do want to darken, damn, that looks so pretty, but I do want to darken this outer edge just a little bit. And I don't want it to stop. So whatever I have left over on the brush, which is like hardly anything, I take it in just to give the eyelid a little bit of a shape. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to just throw on some eyeliner. My, one of my favorites, you know that this is the Too Faced Killer um, Espresso. And then I'm going to just tight line real quick. Tight lining, I do the same thing for each eye. Okay, so like with this eyeliner, it does, it does bleed into the waterline. If you don't like it, you just wipe it off, girl. That's what I'm going to do. Sometimes I like that sultry look and sometimes I don't. But just for argument's sake, I'm going to just rub it off. And that's it. Now, what I like to do is I like to take this beautiful, delicious little brush. This is the BK Beauty 208. And I'd like to use it to pick up product off of my liner. Now, I'm going to do it on this eye from the top. And I'm not going to exaggerate like, oh, you went, you did it on purpose. I'm leaning in, girl. You know how that, you know what that means. So I'm going to take it from the top. Now, blah, 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 hooded eyes. You, know, you don't want to go down. You have textured eyes. So I'm going to go up. You see that, right? I'm going to go up from the top of my lid. And I'm going to go up. And you're going to do that a couple times. Um, for me, I this is like the softest way. I, would, I can't remember the last time I ever used liquid liner, if I ever. But anyway, so again, I'm going to just take this up. And you're going to have to play with your texture because you have a little bit of loose skin there. You're going to have to like either tug it, pull it. Like you see when I do this, there's a skip there. But girl, I'm not going to be walking around looking like this. So just leave it, right? Just freaking leave it. And then I'm going to fill it up. I'm just going to go back in and fill it up. Even if, and even if you have like a darker like powder, you can do the same thing. And it's a, it's going to be a little tricky because the skin is loose, the skin is textured, but you know, you just be patient with it. I'm going to go in with silhouette just to fill it in. P.S. You know, I'm not a professional winger. You know that. Okay, so that's that on like the bad eye, if you will. Whatever you have left over. Sometimes I just like to tap it across my lashes. All right, so that is that. Now with my other eye, this is how I normally do it. I go from underneath. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to pick up the product. Okay, and then I'm going to go from like it's basically like I'm putting um, the brush like in my in my eye from underneath 
not from up top here like we did before, but from like underneath. You see that? And just like the other side, we're gonna just work it until whatever desired wing and um, yeah, girl, they are never twins. They're always maybe distant cousins, in my opinion. Okay, the struggle is real with these friggin' wings. I mean, this one doesn't look bad. Of course, we're not, now for demonstration purposes, this one looks better than this one, but this is what I do. This is how um, it works 99% of the time. I have to go from like underneath. So that is that. Let me just do a double take. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then that is it. I'm gonna just go underneath the eye, just like I normally would on both eyes. Like I said, it's underneath the eye. I usually take the darkest two colors and I go really, really close to my eyelashes. Okay, perfect. And then I go um, in with like a bigger brush. This is the uh, BK Beauty 210. And I usually like to take like something a little bit warmer, like this vague. I think I'm gonna take vague and tender. And I just smoke this little lover out right here. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so I'm going to just um, crumb my lashes. I'm going to put some mascara on, and then I'm going to show you the final product of like a hooded eye application versus a regular eye application. Okay, so this is it. This is the final look. Now, if we're chit chatting, talking, blah, 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 no one's going to like notice, but like for us who love makeup and who enjoy makeup and who, um, for me personally, I love to watch other people to learn like better application. I notice it right away. So I'm going to stop talking girl. And I just want to look straight ahead. And I want you to see like the difference between a hooded eye application and then just a regular eye application. Can you see how like this, you can hardly see the makeup? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty, but you can hardly see it. And then, and then of course, the way we applied on hooded eyes, you could see like all the dimensions, you could see all the colors, and it literally makes my eye, like this side makes my eye look a little bit more lifted, right? Let's look. Yeah, I think like over here, because there's so much, now that there's so much surface, there's so much surface up here that we only applied like the lighter shades. It almost looks like my eye is swollen, right? Like right over here. And it looks kind of like puffy, if you will. Where this side, I used all my eyelid space strategically and it looks really full. Yeah, and it looks more lifted. It looks more open. What do you guys think? I could be crazy, but this is what I'm seeing. So anyway, so that is it. This is my video on how I apply my eyeshadows on hooded eyes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some good tips out of it. Leave me some comments below. I hope I was helpful. Leave me some comments below of what you guys do if you guys have hooded eyes. And um, yeah, so that's it. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.